And now these guys pledge that they're going to defund Planned Parenthood, which under law cannot perform any abortion. Planned Parenthood's annual reports show that they perform more than 300,000 abortions every year. Planned Parenthood leaders have announced that by 2013, they will force every single one of their affiliates to perform abortions. With regard to the assault on the Catholic Church, let me make it absolutely clear. No religious institution, Catholic or otherwise, including Catholic social services, Georgetown Hospital, Mercy Hospital, any hospital, none has to either refer for contraception, none has to pay for contraception, none has to be a vehicle to get contraception in any insurance policy they provide. That is a fact. That is a fact. This is not a fact. The Catholic bishops responded, the HHS mandate contains a narrow four-part exemption for certain religious employers. That exemption was made final in February and does not extend to Catholic Social Services, Georgetown Hospital, Mercy Hospital, any hospital, or any other religious charity that offers its services to all, regardless of the faith of those served, the bishop's letter said. There are millions of women all across the country who rely on Planned Parenthood for not just contraceptive care, they rely on it for mammograms. This is not a fact. The Food and Drug Administration has not identified a single Planned Parenthood affiliate that is certified to provide mammograms. Planned Parenthood is our nation's largest abortion provider. It does not provide mammograms. It simply makes mammogram referrals to other facilities. Federally funded community health centers provide mammograms, family planning, and many other important women's health services like diabetes and hypertension management, but they do not perform abortions. Shifting federal funds from Planned Parenthood to community health centers would not reduce women's health services by one penny, and President Obama knows it. Mitt Romney will protect women's health services and spend our tax dollars wisely while protecting the conscience of hardworking taxpayers who do not want to fund abortion providers. That's why he has my vote. The facts are clear. Obama and Biden are wrong on abortion and wrong for America. On November 6th, vote to protect women's health and restore freedom of conscience. Vote for Romney Ryan.